What I'm about to try might be a bit of a disaster, but uh, regardless of whether it works or not, I think it'll be entertaining for, for you and for me. So I'm on the space station and like many folks, I, I have a retainer. And uh, also like many folks, probably like you, I don't always wear it every night, but when I do wear it every night when I should, um, it gets a little dirty. And so on, on Earth, normally you would, you know, I would wake up in the morning and I would take this retainer and I would put it in a glass on my bathroom counter and I would put a, a small cleaning tablet just like this into the glass and let it sit there and it would clean while I'm doing things during the day. And then at night I would rinse this off and then use my retainer again at night. But up here, gravity doesn't keep water in a glass. And so, you know, the, the boring way to do it is to, is to put water from, you know, for example, this drink bag into the Ziploc bag and close the Ziploc bag and then put the tablet in here. But we're in space and bubbles of water are fun. So what if we didn't have to put it in a glass? What if we just made a bubble of water and then put the tablet into the water and we could watch it bubble in the water and then try to slide the retainer into the bubble of water? What could possibly go wrong? So I thought I'd share with you uh, my success or my failure. Uh, we have a towel here in case this makes a mess. So uh, one of the first things we gotta do is make this bubble and we're gonna see how this goes. Something else I learned early on when making a bubbles of water is this tube. If you start to make the bubble of water, if the outside of the tube is wet, the, the water will run down and wick down the side of the tube and you won't make a very good bubble. So I'm gonna dry the outside of the tube first. This is from mistakes making bubbles of water before. And we'll try and make ourselves a, a decent sized bubble to put this tablet in. You can see me pausing and thinking about how this might go wrong uh, and waters go everywhere. And I'm gonna try and, like, try and quickly capture it with uh, a towel here. So here we go. So we're gonna start the tube down. We wanted this ball of water to stay right here. So we're gonna make it a little bit bigger. And remember it will, it should, remember, I don't know what's gonna happen. We're gonna come up with a little bit of velocity and then quickly take that off. And maybe it's floating up a little bit. We're gonna try and stabilize it. If I'm out of frame of the camera, we're coming back in, stick with me. All right, I think we're coming up. There we go. The tablet's in. There we go. Okay. The blue ball is growing with this effervescent tablet. How can we keep this contained? There's air currents all over Space Station here. Oh, there's a good one. Okay. We're moving back into the camera frame slowly. And we've got the retainer. So maybe we can control it with the retainer. I think it's kind of fun that you can come along with me with this mild disaster. Oh, there it goes. Look at that. Check that out. It's just absorbing onto the retainer. That's pretty slick. And so now that little effervescent tablet is dissolving into these little, and making these little gas bubbles and uh, the water is kind of through surface tension made its way around the retainer and i guess for a couple minutes we could just let the uh the the tablet completely dissolve and clean the retainer but this <laughs> is a much more fun way to clean your retainer than to put it in a bag put some water in there seal it It'd be boring. So why would you be boring in space with a Ziploc bag when you could let your retainer in a ball of cleaning fluid do its job? I, I failed on the first take and the only take, and that was, I didn't show you cleaning it up. So we have this towel here and you just kind of capture it with the towel. Yeah, check that out. 
the tablet didn't fully dissolve in that minute or two. Still a bit of a tablet. Maybe we could reuse that, but you got the blue cleaning fluid right there. 